Manchester City went out in a flaming pile of garbage to Lyon, and I don't want any of what I'm about to say to take away from Lyon's accomplishment, okay? Because for a seventh seed team in Ligue 1 to knock out who many revered as the champions, not the champions, but like the, the soon-to-be, the uncrowned champions of Europe, they were heavily linked to favorites before Bayern Munich went out and thrashed Barca. Lyon went out and, and put on a hell of a performance, okay? And I can take nothing away from them. Awar was better than anybody on City's pitch. And what Rudy Garcia essentially did was lay out a perfect plan for how to beat Manchester City. It was like, okay, we're just going to keep doing what we do. And then Pep, Pep freaking Guardiola, the genius at times, the dumbass at times, decides, you know what I'm going to do? As he always does, I'm going to change the lineup. He completely altered the chemistry and the playing style of Manchester City completely changed it when have you ever seen in the last four years of Pep Guardiola being in Manchester City City play a back three name me one time zero zero times you know why we don't have the center backs for it so despite that and us being as successful as we are or as we have been in the and I'll say we because I'm a City fan look at my laptop stickers I'm a City fan as successful as City have been at what they have done in the last few years my biggest criticism has always been Pep is so fond of his tactics that we have no other players to kind of alter the way we play, right? What we does, plan A usually works, okay? It's with the inverted fullbacks and with the wingers and they cut back. And there's so many things and there's X, Y, Z. And I can do a more thorough breakdown if you guys genuinely want me to, but it's not the point I'm trying to make today. Really what my point is, is that Man City always play a certain style. And if it doesn't work, they have very little uh, to change it. But we didn't even try. We just went right for the change. We just said, okay, screw it. You know what we'll do? We'll play a back three. We'll play with three holding midfielders on the pitch. And then, you know, we'll just, we'll try to control the midfield, even though that's Lyon's game. Why? Why are we trying to out Lyon what Lyon do? Listen, Man City, Lyon couldn't do what Man City want to do, right? Never. That's why they have their identity. They do what they want to do. Do you think Bayern Munich playing Lyon are going to do anything other than what Bayern Munich do? Absolutely not. Bayern Munich are going to line up in their 4-2-3-1, and they're going to dominate Lyon from start to finish. Why? Because it's what they do. That's how they play. How Man City play is always uh, 4-3-3, right? Always. And you have the fluidity of the front three. And Kevin's pulling the strings. And he's usually drifting to the right to whip and crosses, despite us not having anyone who can head the ball. That's a whole other discussion. But we tried to out Lyon Lyon and dictate the midfield three, which was a terrible idea. Because we had three guys sitting back and a back three, where Fernandinho looks like a shadow of himself, right? He's not even touching close to the player that he once was. And it wasn't working. And you could see it wasn't working after 10, 15, 20 minutes. And at that point, right there, 20 minutes in, we're saying, okay, listen, Pep, you got to change it. Like, we have five subs here. Change it. Put on right now Bernardo Silva and Riyad Mahrez. Or David Silva and Riyad Mahrez. For Gundogan and for, um, for Fernandinho. Go back to your back four. You can have your work rate players in midfield. Bernardo's going to press. He's going to move the game forward. And then Mares at the very least, can get the ball on the right and cut in and try to pose problems. Maybe he'll win a penalty. At the very least, we have the same width options. We didn't have any of that. We had Kev playing out of, as a false nine who couldn't get near the ball. And every time he took a ball, he was so swarmed, he took bad touches. When's the last time you saw Kevin De Bruyne play a bad game? Not very often, right? We couldn't get into the game from start to finish. And it's and who's to blame? It's Pep. And it's, <laughs> and I remember there's so many like years that we've been doing this podcast, essentially. And back when we had Joey on, he would always say, you know, Pep's a fraud, Pep's a fraud. But Pep always had the trophies, right? We always won Prem or, or FA Cup or, or EFL or, or something. And the great trophy that's always escaped us is Champions League, right? It's no secret. And this was the, this was the year, right? This is, oh, well, this is knockout competition and every game's a neutral game and, and pound for pound, Man City, player for player, position for position are, you know, top one, top two, top three teams in the world. And they knocked out Real Madrid, who are the heavyweights of that competition. The stars are lining up. It's David Silva's last year. You know, Bernardo's going back to Portugal. He's going to play out of his mind. They didn't even see the field, right? David Silva's last game for Manchester City will be remembered as 20 minutes on the pitch to a, and losing 3-1 to a 7th place Lyon team. I can't blame the players, okay? 
and I, and I, it's not, I am a little upset with them because I have my personal beefs with, with Silky. I don't like when he plays very often, uh, unless it's a game like Real Madrid where it's like, okay, we have to dictate the pace in the midfield. So we need, you know, that slower type of player guys to play laterally, uh, and backwards. But this was not the game for that. And no disrespect to Lyon. But we showed way too much respect to Lyon. Way too much respect. They have really... They're good at playing through the channels. And we, playing three center mids, holding midfielders and a back three, couldn't isolate them from doing that. The plan would have been, go out there, man mark you know, their two strikers. And if we get counterattacked, okay, so be it. Maybe we'll play one holding mid. And we'll say, Fern- be it Fernandinho or Rodri. And say, listen, guy, sit back. We're not going to play all out guns guns blazing because they're going to counterattack us and we're so susceptible to that. But play deeper possession uh, and play out wide because they're going to dictate the battle in the middle. And then we can do the driving runs. I personally pr- much prefer Sterling as a right winger than a left winger because I like on the right wing, it forces him to be direct, right? And on the left, he's never direct, right? He's like, okay, I shouldn't say that because he's, he's gotten a lot better at that. But he's not as direct as I would like to see him. And I would love to see Man City play way more direct than they currently do. So we go out there, and Pep, of course, surprises us with this lineup. How can I be mad at the players? It's not their fault that he lined up, you know, a back three, despite us never playing that. That's not going to alter our chemistry before, really, the biggest game of our freaking lives here, right? Because this is the chance to make the semis. City don't make the semis. We have one semifinal in our history. And if we did, like I said, I did a Bayern Munich versus Lyon preview, and I said, the only silver lining here is it saves us from getting thrashed by Bayern because we would have, no matter how we played. I think Bayern are just that good. <sighs> but this is the problem with City, right? Pep, I think, overthinks a lot. And sometimes you just got to go simple. And Pep simple is still outthinking most players and most managers. But you essentially had this giant disconnect between City's back block of six wingers who were out in God knows where because they couldn't go forward because there was no one playing them that way because Lyon were controlling the, the midfield and then this you know disconnect between the front three and the rest of the team where every time we were just hoofing up long balls Van City don't play that way it was just the wrong time to alter stylistically who Man City are we completely flubbed our identity and and we lost and we went out so Congrats to Lyon. Man City did not deserve to go through because of Pep Guardiola. And it's such a shame to say that because, you know, he's like, what, the second highest played manager in the world. And he and what he does has been so effective for us. And we didn't even try, right? If there was ever a time to play three center mids, it's when you're losing. Or not when you're losing. Sorry, when you're winning. When you're winning late in the game. Okay, go. Pile them up, right? Let's, let's clog up the midfield now so that Lyon can attack. We didn't do that. We opened up the game for Lyon at the wrong time. And then they, Moussa Dembele, who I was shocked didn't start, scored two goals as a super sub. So good for him, right? Good for Lyon. Like I said, I have no personal beef with Lyon or with any of the City players. I do think that Hussein Aouar should be in a Man City shirt next year. I even tweeted, you know, Aouar should be in a Man City kit for the second half. City should have bid 60 mil at him at halftime based on the performance he was putting in. Uh, I just wonder, I can't help but wonder, but think, one leg, you know, all or nothing, this is a knockout game. If Man City play to their absolute strengths, would the result have been different? Maybe. Let me know. What do you guys think? I, I mean, maybe you just want to comment and say, you know, screw Man City, we hate them. I understand Man City aren't getting a lot of sympathy. Don't get me wrong. I know that. But I genuinely am curious. What do you guys think of Man City's performance? Did they blow it? Did they show way too much respect to Lyon? Were they outplayed tactically? You know, or you can't blame the players, right? Maybe you can. You guys let me know what it is that you think. What's next for Man City? Will they win the Champions League under Pep Guardiola? Uh, You know, who's going to win the Champions League? What's next? You guys let me know. I'm happy to make these videos. Uh, I hope all is well with all of you guys. Jerry's Wall's back, baby. Here to take over.